All right, guys, <clears throat> let's quickly review uh, fractions in a word problem. So Logan has a goal to practice his trumpet four and a half hours this week. So far, he has practiced Monday and Tuesday for one and a fourth hours each day. So that means that one and a fourth belongs to both Monday and Tuesday. So I'm going to write Monday, one and one fourth, Tuesday, one and one fourth, okay? And again, we're trying to get to a total of four and a half hours, okay? So we're trying to get to a total of four and a half. So anytime we have a problem like this where we have a bunch of mixed numbers, remember a mixed number is when we have a whole number and a fraction together. And so anytime you have problems like this where they're all mixed numbers, we're gonna turn everything into a decimal, okay? So we know we keep the whole number one and then we cowboy and horse divide the one fourth. So I label my cowboy, yep, he's inside, boots, hat, donut, donut. And I can see that four goes into 10 two times, two left over, zero, four goes into 25 times. So this ends up being 25 cents. So again, my whole number is still one, but my fraction is now decimal 25. And again, these are the exact same number. And again, why did I use them twice? Because it said each. So that means each is Monday and Tuesday. All right, and again, we're trying to get to a total of four and one fourth. So let's go ahead and add together the amount that they have already practiced. So Monday and Tuesday together, I line up my decimals and I end up with 2.5 or 250 and I brought my decimals straight down, okay? So he's already practiced for 2.5 or 2.50 hours, but again, he's trying to get to four and a half. So again, four and a half, we can't leave it as a fraction. Well, I know a half is 50 cents. Again, if you didn't know the half was 50 cents, you could use our cowboy and horse method down here, just like we did for the 25 cents. All right, so I'm gonna take my total of 450 and I'm going to subtract out Monday and Tuesday to see how much time he still needs to practice. So again, I lined up my decimals. 0 minus 0 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, 4 minus 2 is 2. So that is a whole 2. So 2 hours is what he still needs to practice. And again, I knew I was subtracting from the total because it said how many more. How many more just means we're going to take the total and subtract. Okay, and that is what we did here in the purple. So that's your quick refresher of what happens when a word problem has mixed numbers in it. Remember looking for keywords like each and understanding that four and a half is the total.